Assalamualaikum and uh, good afternoon. So for today, I would like to show you uh, the relationship between uh, Navier Stokes and also the uh, Blasius uh, solution. It's uh, the basic idea from uh, what is the uh, general step that uh, Blasius uh, took to solve uh, its uh, Blasius solution. So previously in chapter one to three, so we discussed about the navier stokes equation and I think you already know. And now we try, I would like to show you uh, how this uh, navier stokes equation can be used to solve the uh, Blasius solution and uh, um, a few ideas that you need to take care when you want to do the numerical uh, calculation for uh, laminar boundary layer. So uh, we know uh, we know that the x component navier stokes equation can be written as this one. So I hope you could uh, refresh back your memory about navier stokes equation. So we have uh, du dt and so on and so forth, uh, like uh, as shown in this uh, screen. So and then we try to uh, simplify the equation. So we assume that the flow is laminar, so it is steady flow. So means uh, there are no du dt is equal to zero. And we are only focusing for uh, 2D. So the axis, the z is not, uh, the z axis is not exist. So we w is equal to zero. And gravity is not acting in x axis. So the g x is uh, equal to zero. And again, so because z exists, it's not exists. So the del square u over d z square is equal to zero. And means that from this equation, we could change it into this one. So we have the u du dx plus v dv dy. It's equal minus one over rho dp dx plus nu. So this is the kinematic viscosity. Uh, so we have the kinematic viscosity here. So, and then we have del square u over del x square plus del square u over del y square. So, and then uh, we could uh, write it again as uh, this one. So, so we have uh, the value here. So, uh, so, so make sure that it is uh, all the same. So, we have the, this one and the new here is the kinematic viscosity. So, uh, first, Blasius try to use the idea of uh, similarity. So, but uh, when we have a differential form like this one, so we cannot use the idea of uh, Buckingham Pi theorem. So we need to have this, uh, its own uh, sim sim uh, similarity methods. So uh, normally, uh, previously, uh, we uh, show you how to solve uh, equation for uh, differential form in chapter one, two, and three. So we need to substitute with uh, x star over x over l. Uh, this term, y star is y over delta. Uh, u star is u over u and v star v l over u delta. And this is the ratio. So I think this is a quite familiar terms for us. So we see it uh, previously. And this is also if you read uh, our notes for ideal flow. So this is actually the coefficient of uh, CP, coefficient of pressure. So we have P over P minus P uh, U, uh, P pressure of infinity divided by rho U squared. So and then this is uh, actually we uh, discuss it a little bit here because uh, this term is might be a new one for us. So the simply one is uh, y star here. So actually it's a reflect the idea of unity. So mean the idea that you know, the simple way, so we could assume it is equal to one because there are no uh, units for uh, y star, x star and so on and so forth. So uh, according to the basic uh, boundary layer diagram. So we have a uh, y axis here. So, and then the delta is also uh, actually the distance on y axis. So the similarity here, so we could take that is y star. The similarity for y axis is actually y over delta. So it's straightforward like this one. And then we try to get the idea of this one. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, basic uh, diagram that we could have. So for example, we have uh, a surface here. So and then we have the y axis. So we have the delta here. So and then we have the v here. 
and also the component velocity of u here. So, and then uh, from the continuity equation, we could write du dx plus dv dy equal to zero. So, uh, this is uh, this already discussed in uh, con uh, chapter one to three. So, and then uh, from here, we could make uh, some equivalent relation. So, we call it as tilde. So, I hope you could. Uh, in mathematics, sometimes uh, we have uh, the equal. So, and sometimes uh, we have the symbol or alpha mean uh, it's uh, relate with and sometimes we use the idea of tilde tilde is the symbol of this one so we write as u over l is tilde v over delta i mean this is the idea of if the u here okay the u is actually k okay, relate with the the distance of this one so this is the l so and then the v here so the velocity here is actually relate with the uh, distance of this one so delta is also uh, distance so we could say that u over l okay it's the how how uh, we we need uh, how we read this one is actually uh, there is uh, equivalent relation between u over l and v over delta so I mean there is a, a relation between u u over l and uh, v over delta. So and then uh, we assume that uh, you non-dimensional non-dimensional means uh, there are no uh, dimension, there are no units. So means uh, it must be in unity. So the unity is uh, we go back to here. So we have u over l, so is a have relation with v over delta. So so u over l is actually in um, u is speed meter per second, l is meter. So how we do is actually we bring everything to the left side. So for example, uh, you, we have we bring everything here to the left side here. So you, we have u delta over v and l. So this is what. Uh, Okay, so I'm sorry. So we bring everything on the right side here. So we could get it is uh, V star is equal, equal to V L over U delta. So this is the V star here is actually the, the dimensional, uh, 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 non-dimensional uh, parameter for, for this uh, for the boundary layers. So, and then uh, we will do the uh, similarity solution. So, you know that this is the, this is the uh, Navier-Stokes equation that we get uh, previously. You, we have u, du, dx, and so on. So, this is the pressure term, and this is the velocity for uh, x and y. So, and then we substitute. I think uh, uh, I'm not going to explain this one because we already uh, uh, test uh, you are understanding this in test one. So we substitute everything and then we rearrange the term and then we multiply each term with L over U squared. And then finally we could get this term. So, and then uh, here the blast you says that we have two uh, terms. One is at the middle here, so we have a nu over ul, so this is the kinematic viscosity, and another one is nu over ul, l over delta square. So, uh, Blasius uh, make more analysis on the on the right side of this term. So because uh, we have nu over ul. So this one and we have an extra value of l over delta so bless you take out this one so it's right nu over ul and l over delta square and it's uh, equivalent to one because uh, why it's uh, equal to not equal if we call it as a, a has a relationship with one because here uh, it is uh, it must be dimensionless non-dimensionless uh dimensionless dimension less means no uh, dimension or right as non-dimension 
Okay, so because it is must be dimension, so the nu over u l l over delta square, so it has it must have a relation with one, so it must be a, a unity. So and then uh, we could uh, Renault number. We know that Renault number is uh, u l over nu or u rho u l over mu. So. Okay, I hope uh, this is the kinematic viscosity. So means that if we take this uh, equation, we could find that uh, it can be right as this one. So uh, for example, if uh, so we have, uh, let's say that to, to simplify this one, we have nu over ul times L square over delta square is equal to one. And then we bring the delta here the right hand side to become delta square and then uh, we have uh, u l over nu is actually uh, equal to one over so it is become so l square over uh, Renault number so and then when we want to have the delta on this so we square root here so l will become x over Renault square we bring the x here to the left side here so we have one over Renault. So, so that's why we have delta over L is uh, have a relation with uh, one over square root Renault or uh, delta uh, has a relationship, equivalent relation with a uh, one times L over square root Renault. So uh, that's why in uh, lamina, so this is Blasius solution. So it is focused on lamina boundary layer. So that's why if you remember the equation for delta for uh, Blasius solution is become 5x over square root Renault. So x here is reflect the existence of L here and 5 here means the any uh, coefficient could be added because this is uh, for uh, Blasius so they use the symbol of equal. So means that the mathematical expression the mathematical relation is uh, completely calculated so in this the above terms here okay it's only show the relationship between delta and also another parameter so that's why uh, the the Blasius agree with that uh, terms and uh, Next, uh, after that, uh, all researchers will uh, start to have the, the terms of a uh, uh, coefficient here with x over square root Renault because this is uh, to show that it is uh, uh, your your answer has uh, your answer have similarity with the non-dimensional parameter. So, and then uh, I would like to share with you the idea of pressure in boundary layer. So let's say we have a boundary layer on a wall uh, like this one. So we assume that the pressure across boundary layer at y direction is nearly constant. So means that if we have point one here and also point two here, so for sure uh, for point one and point two, they are uh, different in pressure, but the pressure different between this point to this point to this point and this point is very small. So we assume that PDY is equal to zero because uh, the pressure across boundary layer for y direction is nearly constant. So uh, again, so uh, however, pressure across the x direction of the boundary layer cannot be assumed as zero. The value of the pressure can be calculated, but it is made the equation more complicated. So that's why uh, if you read textbook about boundary layer, the first chapter about boundary layer, they will take the idea of uh the uh, zero pressure gradient of boundary layer because the additional of uh, uh pressure in a boundary layer equation will give uh, will make that equation complicated because you need to uh, solve uh, problems about uh, velocity and at the same time you need to solve problem about uh you you need to get uh, terms about pressure and then if the pressure exists so means uh, it start to have uh, the separation. So please refer to the separation uh, notes. So it is occur because the pressure gradients, so the, the pressure still to fluctuate and the positive uh, pressure is now become the negative one. So they start a separation, the weight start to happen and so on and so forth. So it will 
uh, change, it will influence the creation or the, the formation of the boundary layer thickness. Okay, this diagram show us the static pressure tab that uh, we can use to measure the pressure on uh, boundary layer. So uh, another method that you could use to tap or to measure the pressure is by using the YouTube manometer. So it's actually the same thing of other uh, pressure tap. So and then uh, and then the, from the potential flow analysis. So potential flow is actually what we learned in ideal flow previously in chapter one to three. So and Bernoulli equation we also. Uh, used to uh, the idea of potential flow and the Bernoulli equation to calculate the pressure of the boundary layer. So the idea is, so we know that the Bernoulli equation here, uh, in certain textbooks they will write P over rho G plus U square over 2G and plus Z is equal to constant. So because the, the distance of Z mean the height, the potential energy uh, is very, very uh, small so we could uh, neglect the value of z so we have this term and then if we bring the uh, the constant here to the so let's say uh, uh, so in equilibrium so it takes uh, equal to zero for example so we bring the u square over 2g to the right hand side so we have p over rho g equal to minus uh, u square over 2g and then if we we could uh, neglect the value of g here. So, and then we have, if we differentiate into x, for example, we have d dx here. So, and then we have uh, d dx for the right hand side. So, finally, we could get this one, one over rho dp dx, and u square will become uh, 2u. So, and then it can be cancelled of u here. So, it will become du dx. So, uh, this. So means that from here, from this calculation, we could uh, get uh, substitute the, the terms of pressure here with the term of velocity. So and then what we do is we substitute this term with the negative u du dx with uh, one over rho dp dx. So and then the uh, terms of uh, nu d square u over dx square. Uh, the, this term can be ignored since uh, kinematic viscosity is too small and the changes of velocity u along the x direction is also too small and then the sum will be too small. So this is the idea of Blasius. So I hope you could uh, understand this one. So it means that kinematic viscosity of uh, certain uh, liquid, uh, certain uh, fluid, so it's, uh, it is very, very small. So then if we have the twice differentiate mean uh, double uh, differentiate d square u over dx square so the value is become smaller and smaller so uh, Blasius uh, uh, agreed to uh, neglect the value of this one then uh, our boundary layer equation in all textbook they were written as this one so we have the du dx plus du dy is equal to zero so it also reflect the uh, continuity equation and the Navier's law equation can be simplified as this one. So we have u du dx plus v du dy u du dx plus uh, nu. So this is the kinematic viscosity del square u over del y square. So and then uh, to solve this one, uh, bless you start to uh, get, needs to get the uh, boundary condition so as uh, as i showed uh, previously how to derive a velocity profile by using the uh, boundary condition so it's actually based on the on uh, basic idea so we take the the condition at this point and also condition at this point and also condition at uh, any value of u inside the velocity profile of a boundary layer so we call it uh, in, in this textbook, so it called as u starting. So in certain textbooks, maybe it gives you the, the value of x1, x2, and so on. So uh, there are three boundary conditions that can be specified for the boundary layer phenomenon. So which is u equal to v equal to zero at y equal to zero. So and then u is equal to capital U, mean the it, u 
become uh, equal to the free stream velocity at y equal to infinity when uh, means that when uh, value of y become bigger and bigger at certain point so the value of u will uh, reach the value of capital U mean the free stream velocity and then the U uh, starting mean at certain location of U so the X uh, is equal to a certain value so here so uh, it is noted that the X starting here may or may not be zero so the the simple one this is the the basic principle so the idea that uh, the boundary condition is actually uh, it can be reflect for example the u equal to zero at y equal to zero u equal to u star when uh, y is equal to delta and also y uh, the d du dy is equal to zero at y equal to uh, delta so and then uh, i would like to share you a few ideas that, that used by blasius the the simple one uh, to to help him to solve the Blasius solution and get the uh, final result. So the assumption of uh, Blasius is the flow is steady, incompressible and two-dimensional uh, in the XY plane. So the Renault number is high enough that the boundary layer approximation is reasonable. Uh, as you know, previously we call uh, we have the, the some terms of uh, creeping flow. So uh, when the Renault number is too small, the boundary layer is not uh, steadily occur, so uh, this assumption cannot be used. So, and then the number three, the boundary layer remain laminar over the range of interest. So, uh, as you know, that uh, the Blasius solution is only solved for the laminar boundary layer, and there are no pressure gradient remain in the x direction boundary layer. So that the boundary layer equation becomes du dy plus du du dx plus du dy is equal to zero and a uh, u du dx plus b du dy is equal to nu so this is again kinematic viscosity uh not velocity the kinematic viscosity d square u over dy square so and then uh, the boundary uh, condition used by blasius is stated as this so uh, at u equal to zero y is equal to zero and also v is equal to zero and then u is equal to capital u at y equal to infinity in certain tech group they will use the y equal to delta when u is equal to capital u and u is equal cap, uh, capital u capital u here is the free stream velocity for all y at y equal to zero so y at, at x equal to zero means that the starting point of the uh, uh, Flip, flip. So the x equal to zero here. So u is actually equal to capital U because the value is the free uh, is the free stream velocity. So and then Blasius used the idea of similarity to solve this equation. In similarity term, there is no characteristic length scale in the geometry of the problem. This means that we will see the same flow pattern no matter how much we zoom in or we zoom out. So the statement means that because uh, Blasius says that uh, they will use non-dimensionals, so mean uh, means that if we have a flat plate like this one. So the, the curve or the shape of the boundary layer will remain the same. So because it will not influence by the uh, units, by the dimension. So Blasius introduced, and uh, this is the, the very interesting uh, idea from the Blasius. Blasius tried to uh, wrap up everything, to simplify complicated things into simple terms. So the Blasius introduced a similarity called eta. So it written as this one uh, and combine independent variable x and y into one dimensional independent variable. So that's why uh, this is the idea of Blasius. They don't want to solve it uh, by using common uh, parameter. So it's combined with eta equal y square root u over nu x. So from where it's uh, get this uh, term so it get from this uh, uh, non-dimensional and uh, non-dimensional uh, or dimensionless uh, or similarity calculation 
So, and then Blasi solve uh, for a non dimensionless form of the x component y uh, for the x component of velocity by using this idea. So, it simplified the u over u, the velocity profile as uh, one uh, item. So, it's uh, simplified as f prime, or in certain textbooks, they will write as f by the function of eta. So, and then Blasius substitute equation two and three. So we have uh, equation two and equation three here into the equation number one. So this is the equation number one here, then uh, navier stokes equation. So, uh, and uh, it's uh, substitute with the boundary condition. He gets an ordinary differential equation for non-dimensional uh, speed. So this is the, the, the F, prime eta is equal to u over u as a function of similarity variable of eta. So, and then bless you solve uh, this uh, equation. So by using the uh, idea of runge kutta numerical technique to obtain the result shown in the table below. So this table is actually the most uh, famous table for educational purpose, the, the data from the uh, bless you. So uh, here, the eta is the similarity variable defined in equation two. And the function f eta is solved using the runge kutta numerical technique. So, and then f is proportional to the stream function. So f prime is proportional to the x component of velocity in the boundary layer. So it can be written as f prime equal u over capital U. And f double prime is proportional to the shear stress. So the basic idea of, uh, 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 bless you solution is uh, he simplified uh, the navier stokes equation. It gives uh, its own uh, terms, means uh, the terms that he gets from the similarity uh, solution. So, and then he tried to calculate it, it make a numerical. So it gives uh, coordinates and so on and so forth. So finally he could get uh, this kind of table. So, uh, and then for this one, I uh, just, want to make it uh, uh, accurate. So this is uh, the graph, the basic graph that uh, we get. So the, the velocity profile is become like this one, and then it ends at 99% uh, boundary layer thickness. So, uh, and then, so uh, let's say uh, we uh, calculate the uh, the accurate one. So we need to have u over u is 99%. Okay, please be uh, remember the basic uh, definition of boundary layer. So when uh, uh, the local velocity, small u, is equal 99% of free stream velocity, which is the capital U. So that is the, the uh, turning point, the boundary between the uh, free stream velocity and also the uh, boundary layer velocity. So for this one, in previous uh, notes, so we take the eta is equal to five here because this is might be the, the nearest uh, value to the 99%. Uh, but uh, now uh, we, we take exactly 0.99% here. So what we could do is we could make uh, interpolate we could interpolate value. So if we interpolate this one, so I think uh, you know how to do this one. So uh, we need to find a value which is very, very close to 99%. So we have 4.5 here, which is uh, 0 0.97. And we have 5.0 here, which is 0 0.99. So, and then we could calculate the value F prime equal to only 0 0.99 here. So it is equal when, according to the interpolate, so at eta equal 4.91. And then uh, we equal eta is 4.91 and eta is equal to uh, y. Okay, previously it is y square root u over nu x. So and then y and when eta is 4.91 or when u over u is equal to 99%, so the y here is equal to delta, so that's why we have this term. So, and then we could rearrange the term, so we could get the delta is equal to 4.91x over square root Renault.
So, and then we could uh, continue this calculation. So we could calculate the shear stress at wall. So at wall means at, at the bottom one, at uh, the, the shear stress uh, at the surface. So, and then we could calculate the CD, the local uh, drag coefficient, which is tau, uh, over 1 over 2 rho u square so we could get it is around 0 0.664 over square root rho uh, so i i just keep this calculation because you could make this calculation based on the previous notes uh that explaining how blasius get the value of shear stress uh, local drag coefficient and also the drag coefficient so the drag coefficient is c with a capital d here and local drag coefficient is c with a small d here